Hey guys. Say hi, Mari. You following me? This is the one we call Jailbreak. Her name's Mari. Short for Mario, but she's a girl, so. <sighs> Thought I would show you what we've been dealing with. Tomorrow will be the first day it's gonna get up to 60. But we have been dealing with all the Texas crazy snowmageddon of 2021 this year. And after videoing the garden maybe a week and a half ago, um, we got all this crazy weather and I haven't been out here because it's just been freaking cold. So as you can see on the edge of the house, the ice coals are now starting to melt. <sighs> Hopefully we get the house painted this year, get some new windows. That will really help. I really don't know what's going to happen. Yes, Mari. But I wanted to show you that all my plants that I had growing, the spinach might actually make it. Look at that. That's spinach. It looks like it's going to survive, believe it or not. I don't know about the lettuce. There was lettuce down here. It might actually survive. This obviously didn't. I was trying to let it go to seed, but it didn't really make it before it all died. Those were supposed to be, I think, turnips. I didn't pull them because I didn't know it was going to be this bad. And that's my first time trying to grow turnips. So that's all I really had growing out here at this point. I was still getting my beds prepped for... Um, I kind of did a little more since I took a video, and then right before the snow hit, I got these three done. <laughs> and they, yes, they look like graves, but <laughs> it's so funny. But they're extra long. And I added some wood ash to the top of each of these three. And I cleared up that one and my asparagus section that these are asparagus plants right here. You can see the one little asparagus sticking up. See that? I had a couple little asparagus. It's really sad. Yes, you can keep meowing at me. So, I still gotta clean up this bed here. Here, I'll zoom back out. And then one down there. Um, and then I, th I did half that one. I haven't finished it. And I still need to do that one over there. So at least this ice and snow is going to kill off what was left, I hope. Then I can just pull it. And then um, I'm going to take the mound that I had put here and add it to that top of that hill. Um, there had been a tree there before we moved here. Um, so there had been a tree. Somebody had cut it down. And then this is the tree that we're having cut down. It was supposed to be cut today, so I'm really, really sad that this snow and ice caused it to uh, not <clears throat> not be allowed to um, get it cut down. Our water line, look at that ice, this shovel. My husband propped to try to keep it from freezing. But this is kind of what we're dealing with at the moment. Um, he had dug out all of this stuff because it actually receded all like the weep holes and stuff. It was pretty much right up to it and just really bad. So our goal is to take this front porch that we use as a back porch now. Um, but because it's street side, but we don't use this side of the house for the entry. So we're going to actually eventually turn this into a nice big porch area and we want to screen it in so that we'll have a nice little screened in porch on this side. We can sit, you get a nice sunset view of the hills out there. Usually the sun sets right over there and then you can see the garden out here. Mari, you are just crazy. You just following me, huh? Are you just following me? Look at that. You got me all dirty. Oh, really? You got me all dirty, silly. She's just very, very, very playful. They've been cooped up in the garage, pretty much. This is why 
The tree is looking even more precarious, so I'm really hoping they will come very, very soon. So, the tree that's leaning towards the house. Hi, Tia. It's just really bad. It's just looking worse and worse. I'm really, really hoping they come quickly before this ground thaws out and it decides to go. Um, I'm just really, really sad about it. So we're going to turn the gazebo into a greenhouse at some point. It's, the base of it's actually very, very sturdy, but the top is just falling apart. So, but yeah, everything's slowly, slowly melting. By tomorrow, it's supposed to be in the 60s. Okay. And she literally is following me, like laying in front of me. Uh, but yeah. So by tomorrow, it's supposed to be in the 60s. And for the whole next week, it's going to be 50, 60. So I think that all of this will actually be melted off in the next few days. And hopefully that's it for this winter because I'm just done. I'm just done. I had forgot to take my hose off. My husband um, came out and he was able to get it off, but it was frozen. And then we had a pipe burst. Um, I don't know if I filmed it or not. I don't remember now because it's been a while since I've been out here. But down there, see that pole? We had a water line break. It comes up from the street to the house and that's where it comes across the driveway. The water line broke and we didn't know about a week ago. Um, I thought maybe it was just the water from the, um, I'm gonna turn this around and I look terrible, a little cold, but I thought it was the water from the, um, the water company that maybe had frozen and then the next day I called them luckily last week on Friday and today's Friday so I called them and I was like do you guys know if there's like a water issue and they were like we haven't heard of any so go check your meter so we figured out it was on our side but we didn't know because the water had been draining to the field just beyond that pope that pipe um, into the neighbor's field and so we didn't even notice and uh, luckily, my husband was able to kind of decipher about where the water line might come across the driveway. And magically, he says it was definitely God um, that he was able to figure out the exact spot he needed to dig. Because this is a lot of acreage for him to try to figure that out. And there's not really a guarantee where. Um, just the fact that that's exactly where the water break was. And he was able to get it fixed within a couple days. So anyways, we're at that point now. And... Just trying to hopefully nothing else is breaking after this um, But I wanted to show you guys the garden kind of what we've been dealing with this year um, Just for documentation purposes and to remind myself when I look back in the future on The great uh, snowmageddon of 2021 and what we dealt with So anyways, I hope you have a good rest of your day wherever you're at. Thanks for watching